So the turkeys are back. Well, they were literally right on my fence, but now they're eating the berries from the. Look how they're cute eating the berries. It's like jumping up. How funny is that? I guess since you don't have arms, you gotta jump. I just ate one of you yesterday. It's kind of mean. Did you just say we ate one of you yesterday? Yeah. There's a squirrel. Squirrel's gonna go see what's up. Well, that turkey was delicious. We deserved it. Oh, that squirrel's going cray cray. They're all coming. Oh my goodness. Can I see? They're all coming. They all do rounds here, I think. Holy manoli. <laughs> oh my god. It's like they go in shifts. Oh, look, he's on Whoa. her fence. Oh my no, god. No, Emma, down. <laughs> he's on her fence. At Drake, no. There's another one. Drake, no. Hey. No. These are our friends, Drake. We're not turkey families anymore. I mean, we're not chicken families anymore, Mom. And now we're tur now we're turkey family. Yeah, because there's always roosters down the street. Oh, you killed me. Emma, you stepped I on wish there were still roosters. On I like roosters. I always love watching the turkeys. When I used to drive them, drop them off at school, at their old school, I used to see the turkeys doing their rounds all the time, and now I'm actually in the neighborhood that they're doing their rounds. It's just really bizarre. It's so funny how they eat. Um, I kind of like it. Here comes another one. He's a little thin. Why, hello there, Mr. Turkey. How's it going, Mr. Turkey? Holy crap, there's so many of them. There's even more coming now. Jeez. There are so many turkeys. Whoa! Oh They're my like, gosh! They, they just keep on coming. The, it's like crazy turkey out here. There's so many little, there's so many turkeys. There's like 50 on our fence right now. There's one, two, three, four, five. Oh my gosh! I know, there's so many of them. Oh What's my gosh, happening? yes. They just keep coming. Yeah. There's so many of them. Look at this. And they're, they're way down there, too. So there's literally probably like 50 in this one little group from coming oh and gosh. then all right here and then yeah, all down in there. Look at it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at it. Look at how many of them I mean, are all right here, all right there, and they're all over in the other people's yards. They literally go all the way down there. go out there and try to chase them. No, babe. Try to catch one. I want them to come back. They will. I can go out there. Chase That's what you call a mob. That's mob a mentality, and there's only one bush. That's a gang of turkeys. Look, she can't even drive down the street because there's so many. Only turkeys. one bush. <laughs> no, if you go in that herd, they'll pick you. What are you talking about? That's a lot of bushes. Babe, hey, why don't you go? Why don't you go out there and try to chase them? They'll see pick what happens. They'll you to pieces. <laughs> They're just gonna run away. I know. No. They go ape shit. It's a herd of turkeys. They will pet you. Down to the ground. They're pretty gnarly. They don't let other, them to eat. Whoa, They're like, Dad, look at this. This there's nothing in that tree. Food. What do you so think, Gammer? What do you think? Do you gone. like the turkeys? There's also coyotes here. I want to see the coyote, but I, I, I bet you there's a lot of people who get really annoyed. I don't know. You guys tell me. Do you guys, whoever has turkeys, do you guys like the turkeys or do you guys get annoyed by the turkeys? Because personally, yeah, get per unless you have berry trees like that in your front yard. And you like the and you like the presence of the red berries, you would get annoyed because they would disappear real freaking fast. See, I personally really like the the turkeys. I think it's really cool. I like living in the country, but not living in the country. If you guys know what I mean, like I don't. For some reason, I don't want to live like obviously like way in the country, but I like to be around people. Yeah. Anyway, so what I'm I like the. 
the turkeys. But see, my my yard is just a drought yard, so we like our fireplace. We've never had a real fireplace. They've always been like little stupid, stupids. I gotta go get my blood tested. Blech. I hate getting my blood tested. I thought you were gonna do that early. I am doing it early. I need to drink my drink first, then I'm gonna go. It is early. It's eight o'clock. Okay, so look at across the way, how the sunbeams like go through. I love that, it's so pretty. It's just like, that's the other side and the sunbeams just go through onto the, it's hard to see, and, but you can see it right there. It's beautiful. I have to really zoom in because, um, because the camera always is way further than what it seems. All right guys, so we finally got a refrigerator, but um, the problem is, and so that over there is empty, but look at, like so now poor JD has to go and get another thing to make it go up against the wall because it won't go up against the wall further enough to where we can like open up our pantry. These are the things we're running into that are, you know, quite annoying. We don't want dents all over, you know, our fridge or anything like that. So yeah, we just need to get it back like farther. So then that way we can open our door you know, what are you gonna do? So this literally was like the only fridge we could get without getting it custom made, you know what I mean? So yeah, I mean, I really like it, it's really nice. Yeah, it's really nice. I love the white, shiny white. I think it's so just sleek looking. I just love it. I don't, I don't like stainless steel. Like the drawers are just all weird, like cabinets like this kind of stuff drives me insane I know it shouldn't but it does I wonder if this doesn't have a thing anymore why is this not all the way? anyway yeah I think this the white is very sleek like all of our appliances are white and then we just have a stainless steel sink and a stainless steel trash this is why I hate stainless steel right here because like no matter what it's just always freaking like dirty always and it's just it's irritating I I would love to have a farm style, so kind of like this style sink, but I would love it if it was all white porcelain. I just think it would look so good. Maybe one day, don't mind the way I look. I've been so busy today, but um, we also have a garbage disposal now. So now we have a garbage disposal, which you guys was not easy. It literally took two days. JD, they had to put uh, power because there was no power to it. Well, there was power and then for some reason, like she took it out. We're... Anyway, so yeah, things are starting to come along. And then like I said, we're gonna be covering all those uh, holes up with um, with a big mirror. I'm gonna get a big mirror, rectangular mirror to go right there. I think that would look really slick. And over here, my plants will go. I mean, until we figure something out. And then we'll move the table more this way, obviously. So I have a question. I would like hell right now. Oh my God, I am so sorry I look so bad, but I have a question. For anybody out there who knows about flat paint, please tell me how you like do that. How do you, um, what's the word? How do you get it to look like the same color? Like how do you touch up? Please tell me, like if, first of all, if it gets dirty, how do you clean it? Second of all, if, um, if you need to like, you know, touch up the walls, how do you do it? Please let me know you guys because I'm so curious about it and we just really need to know. So I would love to hear if anybody has flat paint in the comments what to do about that. That'd be awesome. I think I can use, like flat paint I'm telling you is going to be a pain in the ass with the kids. But unfortunately we didn't like have time to paint coming into this house so we didn't really have a choice. So I think eventually maybe we will paint it but until then like we can't move all you know we're just moving in so that was a little frustrating because flat paint with kids is just a, not any fun please let me know like i said if you guys have flat paint what you do because look at this wouldn't this drive you guys crazy <laughs> oh my god so i don't know i don't know how to fix that i just know that looks really bad and it is so noticeable can you even see me? Let's see if you can even see me. I guess you can, just kind of at an angle. Oh my God, it looks so bad. Anyway, so yeah, let me know uh, in the comments, please, because I'm very curious. And uh, 
all we really need to do is get our carpet and we're gonna go tomorrow and look um, at carpet and I think we're just gonna pay a little bit of extra money and do down here as well so it looks the same in these two areas I think that would look really nice and yeah so that's what we're gonna do and then that and then the seller will be in charge of the, what the cost is in there and then I'll we'll just pay for this out of pocket because I really don't want to have three different carpets you know not really down with that so anyway guys oh my goodness I'm so tired that's just for Christmas, Avi. Yeah, I'm just, look at Emma. You can barely even see her, but she's there. Emma, she's like a pillow. JD literally went looking for her this morning because she literally matches. <laughs> so cute. Emma, do you match the couch? Oh, is somebody home? Who's home, Emma? Is daddy home or is that Nani? Oh, it's Daddy. It's gonna be hard to find one. What? JD playing his guitar, a fire. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> that looked really. I don't think I've introduced you on it. This is hashtag Nate, not single, not hashtag Nate, not single, not single Nate anymore. No. He's got a woman, an old lady. Old lady. Introduce her. This is Carrie, <laughs> my girl. What up, fellas? We just, they just like to kick back at our house so Savannah can play. So, anyway, okay, I'm gonna go watch the sunset, guys. Hey, look what I got. Everybody should live by this. All right. So, I got my pistachios, my tea, and we're about to walk down these steps. My grapes, doggies, and we're coming down here to watch this. Watch the beautiful sunset on my platform instead this time. Instead of being up there. I need to get a set of my own chairs up here because, yeah. Sometimes I like to be up there, sometimes I like to be up here, but I like take you along with me. Here's the view of like our yards and stuff. We met this neighbor t this morning, and, or today, later today, before my walk, I met him. Nope. Anyway, but I've been, nope, walking every single day. And it's been awesome. I've literally been walking every day. And today I actually ran the whole way. I didn't go the, my long walk though. I just went, a sh I went away that didn't have hills. And then also, it was long, but it wasn't as long. And so I just was like, you, if you don't, if you go this way, you have to run the whole time. And I literally ran the whole time. I had energy to kill. Sometimes I get like that. Actually, no, let me rephrase that. When it is winter is when I have these, when I can do this. In the summertime, I'm a whole different person. I have the worst energy in the whole entire world. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Well, just a grape tree, <laughs> you know, for, for me to make wine. Just kidding. All right, guys, so I'm just gonna let you enjoy the, maybe go grab some tea and drink with me and watch the sunset. A little bit of a different view. Those are all the wetlands out there. It's really bright, it doesn't wanna let you see the sunset, there we go. So you guys aren't gonna be able to see this down here. Okay, if you wanna look a little, there's you know this down here. Anyway, I'm gonna point it up, that way you can actually see what I see versus down there. So it's either or, I realize it's black. Trellis right through the sunset really did you really have to do that Emma what are you doing pretty girl what are you doing pretty pretty Emma loves her new house Drake do you love your new house he always look he already looks skinny he's been on two walks cuz I have I've been nope I've been having to rotate because I don't know I, I saw a dog driving down one day the way that I go I saw a dog running out to go greet people which is not horrible or anything but I have both my dogs tied around my waist so you know that's not a good thing when Drake is not liking it and then she kind of jumps on the bandwagon even though it's like she's scared but she tries to act all bad that would not be a good situation so I've been for the meantime, just taking them one at a time. I, I took one time. I took them both. 
and the rest of the times I've been doing every other day with them until I kind of scout the neighborhood, see what dogs usually are out. Um, like there's one down my street from my house, but the dog is old, doesn't even care, you know? So just kind of do that sort of thing just so I know where either to avoid or maybe I don't have to avoid. I can handle one dog as far as like, and I can handle my dogs, but I would have to unclip them. I mean, you know, they, they, they're, they're good dogs. They just, when it's, when we're walking and, and they're with me, um, they don't like that. You know what I mean? But like if we're at a park or something like that, they can care less. So it's just when they're attached to me and if a dog or even a person comes up, like they don't like it. You guys should all come over, eat grapes, watch the sunset. <laughs> Drink some tea and be happy. Always. Okay? That sounds like a good life. I'm coming down here every night to watch the sunset. I am sorry, but like, I can actually see the whole thing. Versus like sitting up there, I gotta look through the tree a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's pretty up there too, but I guess it's just, I do like looking up there as well because I do like seeing like, it's just two different experiences, I guess, you know? I think that's what I'm trying to say. So excited to show you guys my rooms. Okay, yeah, so I got this message on one of my, I can do it, my string art video, not one of my, my string art video. And somebody said, I am a psychic, please contact me. I need to tell you about something. And they gave me her email. I'm like, uh, that's scary. No, thank you, I'm good. And the only reason why I say that is because like what if it's like something serious like I don't want to hear anything like that 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 freaks me out you know what I mean look at they're doing chemtrails everywhere because you see how that chemtrail that is not dissipating at all like let's get focused that is not dissipating at all here's Savannah everybody <laughs> Savannah uh, you haven't seen her for a while say hi hello Ooh, the sunset looks pretty mm-hmm how's school going better that's good you have a boyfriend? No. That's that's good. Focus <laughs> on school. Focus on school. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come back on here and say hello and let you know that um, I love you guys and I'm just so happy to be back on YouTube. It does really feel good. I'm really going to try to stick with my Monday, Wednesday, and Friday schedule. Although I am, even though I'm trying to, trying to stay on that schedule, I'll have three videos up in a week. I can't, it's hard for me to... Uh, I pick a time because there's just no way I, I edit when I get a chance. I absolutely love it back here. JD just said that there um, there's kids down here who will party sometimes. Okay guys, so I'm at the park. This park is really nice. It has so much open field. There we go guys. Hashtag God's artwork y'all. It's gorgeous. I hope you liked it. Oh, there you go. Anyway, I just wanted to say goodbye um, and wish you a good couple days. I look forward to being back on this journey. It makes me really happy and I'm so excited to just take you guys on this next journey of life. So, I love you guys. See you later. Bye.